thought I'd be telling anybody this. But this ain't no true crime story. It's not made up junk like Harry Potter or the Green Party. This is totally real, like Jersey Shore. I knew he was different the moment I met him. Quiet and a little weird. But kind of cute in a creepy Corey Feldman sort of way. Oh, hello. Hi. Are you here about the room? Come on, I'll show you around. So, that was the living room and this is the kitchen. Do you cook? Well, help yourself. One rule though. Hands off the fluffer nutter. Got it? Okay. And this is your room. Hi. So, it's $300 a month. What do you think? You like the place? Cool. Well, it's time for me to do my blog, so I'll leave you to it. Okay. Say, you're not some kind of satanic serial killer pervert liberal, are you? No. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> well, enjoy. I suppose I should have suspected something right there. But I was like totally taken in by his innocent schoolgirl routine. Little did I know what was to come next. you while you're organizing your knife collection, but could you give me a hand with my underwear drawer? Okay. Oh my god! What are you doing? Hi. Are you insane? You can't wear that color. You're totally an autumn. Okay. God! It's like Project Runway never happened. Hi. What's up? What are you doing? Oh my god, no! <laughs> the next thing I knew, it was all over. And I could hardly remember what had happened and I was just totally numb. Like after the Lost finale. It was all one big confusing blur. The whole thing just happened so fast. But then again, it always does. Oh, that reminds me. I need to post an ad on Craigslist for another roommate. 